Salut everyone! In this video, I will tell you why I'm quitting Linux. What? Am I really quitting Linux? No, I'm not. But I need to share something with you guys. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. No, I didn't ditch my Arch Linux based distro, aka Cache OS. I'm still running on it. However, things did change. On my streaming PC, and I really think we need to talk about it because I was in this position where I felt like things will move, but they did not. So let me explain. As you certainly know, I was using Cache OS on my second PC. I made a full video explaining how I was doing all my work, my production work, all my stream with two PCs running Cache OS. And the installation of Cache OS before I erased it yesterday actually had 409 days on it. No problem at all regarding Linux. It was booting, no issue with the driver. I had some hiccup related to Arch, something I had to maintain, but literally nothing crazy. But this distro, this operating system for encoding and streaming was extremely solid. The problem comes from something else. When I was setting up the PC more than a year ago, I noticed that if I plugged my USB mixer within the PC and I configure all my settings for having a Pro Audio Virtual Sync set up on the machine, I could not record them properly on OBS. And because it was not the case before, I found that it was related to Pipewire. So what I've done, I went on the Pipewire GitLab and did what all the Linux users should do, open a ticket. And there I created the ticket itself. As you can see here, I explained exactly what was my issue. I shared all my tests. I explained that it was totally reproducible. So if you read it here, the sound is popping crackling and skipping while recording multiple sources in OBS. One source works correctly, no sound issue, but all the other are stuttering, crackling and skipping. If disabling Pro Audio and Virtual Device, moving to the direct UMC 4HD profile, the sound gets recorded properly in OBS, but I can't differentiate the source. So if you have one source and you cut it through Pipewire, through different virtual sync, then I wouldn't be able to record in OBS all the sources at the same time. And I did submit this ticket more than a year ago. And if you go down there, you can see that Vashinator exactly having the same issue with the Rodecaster Pro 2. Somehow, before this update, the 1.0.3, something break. But what happened is that Wim Taymans, one of the owners of the Pipewire project, said that he has this too with OBS, but it does not seem to be a Pipewire problem. Oh oh, you know what I've done? Guess what? I went on the GitHub of OBS Studio and then I searched for the same type of issue. And here we had Guillem, who opened a ticket the 8th of June 2024. And this gentleman is literally describing the issue I had six months earlier on my machine. And if you go down there, you have Karkel TP here who was able to replicate it and add it as a bug on June 10th, so two days after he opened it. And then we have a lot of users. We have Adrianus West saying the same thing here. Me actually explaining that I thought it was an issue related to Pipewire, but it's not. And Amenoko who reopened it two weeks ago. So last week, I didn't swear this thread. And I was like, thanks for sharing your feedback, Amenoko. I have no idea what is the process to aggravate the priority of this issue. This should be the top one on the Linux list. It is impossible to create any multi-track recording with only one hardware device on Linux with OBS. And it has been the case for a long time. This feature is a, almost a requirement when it comes to content creation. So at this point, you're going to be like, hey, Air Max, how did you make it work all this time? Because you were still streaming and creating like five videos or four videos a week. How, how did you make it work? Well, here is a kicker. Here is a kicker. The issue related to 
having a multiple different source between like a streaming PC and a gaming PC is called like a humming sound. And what happens most of the time is that if you plug a cable like this one into your sound card from your gaming PC and plug it in your uh, sound card of your streaming PC, you're gonna have a huge like humming sound in the background. And it kind of like destroys the, 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 the content itself, you know, when, when you are looking at a video and you hear like, you know, like in the background. So what I had to do is that I had to like plug one of these cables like that into my uh, mixer connecting to my streaming PC and plug it into this box, which is called like a clean box, which is literally a box which uh, remove the humming sound. There is some resistance in it. And you have the cable in, those ones that go in, and then the cable out that go out. And going out, they will go into the line in on any peripheral uh, you have in your PC. So in this case, because I didn't want to be connected directly uh, into the PC, I use, <laughs> this is crazy, uh, the one which is included with my uh, capture card. <laughs> I know. I know this is insanity, but this was all for avoiding the humming sound. But what I noticed lately is like when I was recording, the humming sound was still here. And right now, there is none. There is none because I can use my digital mixer, which is connected via USB which just make me like not need this humming, like de-humming actually, like a uh, sound box. Obviously, I could not do that on Linux. And this is the reason why I switched back to Windows. But you know what? It was not the only reason. Because honestly, like it has been working for a year. There is a humming sound. It sucks, but you know, it's okay. Like I, I was living with it. It was still like better for me to stay on Linux rather to switch back to Windows uh, just for the humming sound. In my head, I was like, you know what? It has been one year, one year and a half. Like I, I've been dealing with this issue. Maybe something is going to happen, right? One week ago, I was invited to a podcast. The podcast I'm running with my buddy Vince and other guests for the Gaming Linux France community. And what happened is that I almost arrived late to the podcast. And you know why? Because of OBS again. So let me show you what happened. So what I do normally, I launch OBS like that, select my source. Okay, so here I will use my capture device for grabbing my DSLR. I think that's the name. Like it's, a, it's like a big camera, right? To have like this good image. But those DSLRs, they don't have like a USB port, most of them, you have to go through a capture card. And what I would do, I will use a capture card plug on Linux and select it as a source here in OBS. And what I do then, I start what is called a virtual camera. And this plugin is awesome. When you click on that, it creates a source, for example, in Discord. The camera which will pop out in Discord is actually the camera which is recording here in OBS it creates a virtual camera. This thing is really awesome. And normally it kind of works like out of the box, it's plug and play. And look what happened. Press it and I had this error. Starting the output file, please check the log details. Not if you are using the NVENC or MD encoder, make sure your video driver are up to date. I was like, what? My graphic driver are perfect. There is nothing wrong with them. I know some of you are going to be like, oh, it's Nvidia, it's not perfect. No, no, listen to me. Everything is installed like perfectly. So what is going on here? Well, it looked like I was not the one to have this issue on OBS. It looked like another user exactly had the same problem here and another one there. I won't go and bash the OBS team. Again, it's nothing against the OBS project. But I do believe like in their process of doing things, they are first focusing on Windows. Then they will be focusing on Linux in general. And 
within this bracket of like focus, they will focus first on flat pack and then the rest. And I want to make sure that I'm, I, I don't sound like I'm blaming anyone. I do understand it's an open source project. It's free. Like I've, I, I didn't pay for anything. And I can't, literally can't, be this guy and say, hey, you should have done this work. No, like, honestly, like, this is not what I'm saying. I want, I want this to be clear. However, what I can say is that I was almost late to my podcast. And fortunately, I had a really old like, camera, a USB camera, like a Logitech, whatever. I had for like almost 10 years. I plugged it in my PC. It worked out of the box. No problem. Linux is still great. Don't get me wrong. I, I make it work. But the issue is really like in a production environment, when you try to do the thing like seriously, when your job as I'm trying to do right now, like my job is to make video, is to look like good on podcast. Or oh, I'm still looking good, I hope, but like, you know, like providing the best for the viewer. I felt like I failed here. And I failed because sometimes Linux is, is behind. And this is the reason why I switched back to Windows. It kind of like disgusts me to say to you guys that I had to switch to Windows, but this was kind of like the series on the cake. I had to switch to Windows for my streaming PC because I was kind of tired of like going through this hassle and be like, oh, is there the humming sound when I start recording? When I'm streaming, is the humming sound there or not? Right? I can, and you know, you, you might be like, hey, yeah, like Air Max, you are, you are overthinking it. I'm not. Like, I, I don't want someone coming to my channel and be like, wow, what is, what is the actual like level of production this gentleman is putting on? You know, I, I, when I buy a nice camera, like the one I'm using right now, it's not for me. Like, I, I don't really care. It's for you to, you know, watch something like decent, like my, my, my nice haircut or whatever, but you get the idea. Like, you want to provide something which is like, you know, not a level of, uh, the Linux tech tip with a, a 12K camera and 120 FPS, but, but something decent, right? And when you can't reach those decent level, you, you feel like you fail. And, and, and same for the podcast. Like, if I didn't have this camera on my hand, I would be just not participating in it. And this is not professional. So... You know, how, how do I conclude this, this, this video, right? Because at this point, you're going to be like, what, what are you trying to say, Max? What I'm trying to say is that we all love Linux, okay? We all want it to succeed. And at our level, with our like, abilities, we try to participate to the movement of making it happen. And sometimes, well, it's just not enough. And, and, and this is the sad reality I'm in mean right now. I hope like maybe some viewer who has like the technical capability to fix OBS on Linux could watch this video, go there and write a code to solve the ticket I wrote like more than a year ago. It would be great. Maybe this video is going to serve that. And I might be able to switch back to Linux, you know. I know the V4L look back DKMS issue is going to be solved. Uh, maybe, you know, one or two weeks. But I couldn't wait. I'm going to have another podcast. I'm going to have other stuff that are moving on for my channel. I just can't wait, right? I don't want to record video uh, with my uh, 720p 30fps uh, Logic camera, right? Like it, it doesn't look good enough for what I'm trying to provide you. So I was in this position where I was like, what do I do? You know? And, and I had to switch back to Windows. And again, like for you guys, I think the, the, the message here is like, we have to be pragmatic, right? I don't want to blame Linux itself. I don't want to blame the OBS team. I know they have over directive. They, they have to focus on, on what everybody is using right now. And unfortunately, like everybody is using Windows. But on the other hand, like the Linux adoption won't get there if we don't fix those issues. So, yeah, this is the reality of Linux. 
if you want to push the production at a certain level. I don't think this issue is going to be related to you guys. If you just stream your game, OBS is working very well. If you don't have any like agenda related to your work, like you don't have to follow a certain schedule, you can wait a little bit, you know, to create or whatever. It's fine. You, you won't have my issue. But for me, I felt like I had to do it. And also, I had to share this information with you guys. Because I think in terms of transparency, it's, it's really important for you to realize that being pragmatic is, you know, where you need to be. So, yeah, I would say, like, just use the tool which is going to do the job. On paper, I would have loved to continue to use Linux for my streaming PC, but can't do it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I want to thank all the fine channel supporters on this channel, whether you are doing it on YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. And as always, see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.